Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how you can create an animation and the example I have chosen is the timer, countdown timer more specifically. So before I get into making the animation I will show you a demonstration here. I have the animation already created but we're gonna go through it step by step so basically if I go to the full slide of this presentation then on a single click on slide 2 let me do it here you see the countdown of 5 seconds and then I have this time is up okay so let's get to work here I'm gonna write down here the step-by-steps -step for the animation. The next step here is to create the animation appear for the small circle. On click, meaning when you click on the slide, the small circle will appear. That's the animation. So basically how to create that animation, you just click on this small circle and then you go to animation here and then you click on appear you see there you click on appear and then you want to make sure that it says here on click so when you click on the mouse that's what it shows I want to show you one trick here to keep in track of what you're doing which is the animation pane if I click on that then it shows me the step that I have already done here which is let's do the next animation this is on the big circle so I click on the big circle first so it says create the animation appear and wheel so there are two features this animation for the big circle and we're gonna make this animation last I'm sorry not one minute one second right so I click on the big circle I go to appear and then as you see here there is wheel I click on wheel and you see the, the animation there and then I'm going to select with previous as it says here which means that this big circle will appear with the wheel at the same time as the small circle this with previous here it means with previous animation this animation will occur at the same time as the previous animation so we need to make it last for one second and that's the duration here by default we have two seconds but we want just one second okay so and as you see here a second line was created which tells me the second animation now I want to create the next animation which is this step here which is add the animation disappear for the small circle after previous okay so I go to add animation but before I do that I have to select small circle so we would know what this animation will be applied to small or big circle right but I have it here it says small circle so I click on add animation and we want to select disappear that's what I have here I click on disappear and as you see here I'm gonna select after previous but I want also the big circle to disappear so which is the next step make this animation disappear so I'm gonna click on this guy and I'm gonna add animation sorry add animation and then I'm gonna go select or click on disappear see how it disappeared and then came back and then I'm gonna select after previous okay now let me show you this I'm gonna click on preview animation and it will show me what I have done and before I do that let me let me put this circle right in the middle so let's show what we have done so far if I go back to animation and I click preview so I completed the first step which is all the animation concerning the five seconds and I'm gonna do the same thing for four seconds which is just copy and paste and I'm gonna change this 
to 4. However, I'm going to do one slight change here. This number 4, I'm going to make it after previous. Okay? Let me play it. See? After previous. Meaning, after this is done, this animation is done, I'm going to go to number 4. And let's do the same thing. And I'm going to have like a stack where this is going to be all the way on the bottom. So send back. Let me make sure this is bring to front. And then I'm just going to make this one align it here with that guy. And then the same thing for all others. Okay, so I did all of them, one on top of the other. Let's preview. Okay, so now I can just create one more circle, right, where I can put time. We want this time is up to show up all the way at the end after all these steps are done. So I'm going to make an animation there where I would say appear but start after previous which is after the last animation occurred. So now if I make this all the way, I'm sorry, let me send it back, right? And then, and let's play the video or the uh, animation. Alright, hope to see you in my next video. Thank you very much.